are the one for me, the one that mastered to run because the series is cool. So go beep beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and welcome to the complete guide to master serum, a series that I made to teach you how to use serum the practical way rather than reading you the manual. Now, I like to add to the series now and then, even though I made it a while back. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to make arpeggios. Now, the first thing I got to ask is why would you want to? It's very counterproductive and there's better ways to do it. However, if you want to show off or if you're trying to sound, you know, make presets like cymatics and whatnot, it's a really cool way. I'm doing it for a new pack called Paradox Volume 2, which I'm working on. And I learned how to do it the best way. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. With that being said, if you want to support the channel, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com, guys. And let's get straight into this. So back then i used to put the lfo on the course pitch i'll shift click and then i would pray to god that <laughs> that i'd be in key that i'd make something good and some whatnot now if you're going to be making modular sounds that sound bleepy bloopy and are all over the place and this is a good way to go about it however if you're trying to make something melodic there's a better way we're going to go into the matrix write our lfo one there from there we're going to set the destination to global master tune and then from here, and this is a shout out to Warp Academy and Artifacts because they taught this like four years ago and I never saw it, but now I know. So I'm doing it the easy way. We're going to put 12 ST lowercase. ST stands for semitones, not ST. ST sexually transmitted. You're going to transmit people with the ARP. Anyways, from here, we're just going to click here and we're going to set the grid to 12. Now, as I hold Alt Shift click, you're going to notice that I can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's going to be 12 semitones each note. It's, as you go up, it's a semitone. So knowing here, I have a MIDI note running through D and a, and a MIDI at D. Anyway, so <laughs> we're just going to hold Alt Shift. So 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just to make the standard triad chord. From there, again, you can do this in any way to make any sort of melody that you want. Now, there are limitations to this ARP, of course, because from there, if you don't have to set to 12, it is a pain in the butt to get the right values. But from there, if I play this and it's in, in key, then you owe me a million. And if, it don't, if it's not in key, then I owe you a million. Anyways. Hey, uh, all right, anyway, so you can see it's in key, so that's the way that works. And again, you can do this in any ways. Now, you're going to see this grid line going down. That just means, you know, boom, unts, boom, unts. So that's like a mini bar. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that makes sense to you guys there. From there, we're going to route LFO to, to the level if you just want to create a very basic sort of saw arp. From there, let's trick both of them so that way they start at the same time. And again, you can play around with it to get some really cool sounds. The one I like the most is that future bass sound. I always wondered how they made it, but when I learned how to use the ARP and I accidentally did this, then I was like, okay, that's how they make that one sound in future bass. So it's pretty cool if you want to set it up that way. Uh, but from there, we're just going to set a bar. And then from there, you just really, all you have to do is to sign the sound yourself. So we go LFO2. <laughs> And then just assign the sound. So if you watch the series, you would know how to make some really good sounds. You just go with it. Okay, so you can get some really cool stuff with the Ableton ARP. Now, the other cool thing I like to do if you want to show off even further, because you're watching this video to impress someone. Who is she? Anyway, so, <laughs> or who is he? All right, so we're just going to put this down an octave from there. Uh, we're going to go matrix, and then we're just going to set this a oscillator A to course pit. Now, the bad thing about this, it doesn't stay in key. And we're just going to set this guy here, um, filter A. We're going to route B through it. This is more advanced stuff. You watch the series, you know what we're doing here. We're doing parallel filtering. And then we're just going to kind of route this here. So that way it's like... So it's just epic. And if you want to take it a step further, then obviously you would just do the same thing. Um, LFO, LFO 3, the least like, the least use. We'll go FB course pit. You are the one for me, the one that mastered to run because the series is cool. So go impress your girlfriend with your sound design skills. There's a better way to do it, I promise you. 
So again, if you like to do kind of stuff like that, that's the way we kind of set up those ARPs. Again, from there, it's just more of the sound design aspect of stuff, but this is how you set up the ARP and do a proper ARP in Serum. So now go and make some presets, show it off, tell someone like, hey, look at my preset, and just have fun. And again, you can take this further. I mean, you can put wave tables and have the sound evolve over time. Any, any, anytime yeah you could kind of do that again we would do this and like i don't know if you want to do again the sky's the limit if you're willing to put in the work for it but again like i say why would you do that just make the sound make them separate and use a better art but again that's the way you do it if you're trying to impress with that being said guys that's the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time for another one take care and you guys have a good night